Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Last time I got some more... Oh, crap. <laughs> anyway, last time I logged some more enemies into my uh, log book that I don't have yet, and I need to heal because that thing nearly killed me. So, nut bread... Nut bread... Uh, should be fine if there aren't any more of those boars around. I need to get up to Alex's house now. Oh, hello. Have I, have I run into these guys before? I feel like I have, mischievous mole. Have I? get a back spider this guy just in case. Eh. Okay, let's try this. Ah. Come on. Hmm, hard to get the back spider of those guys. I feel like I have. What the Crag Lizard? What the heck? Um I may not be ready for this. This wasn't on my list for this part of the chapter. Oh no. There we go, okay. Oh, I got to level 15 at least. Um... I may need to check something real quick. Hold on. Aquarius bracelet. Okay, so I hadn't, uh, I don't have those on my list because we can actually get those later, so they won't be going anywhere. So I'll be getting them in Chapter 5, when it will be a lot easier to get their back sprites, so that's alright. Anyway, I want to equip that... Oh, I'll keep pressing the wrong button. Let's see. Freeze bracelet? Ooh, a defense up by 3. Alright. Now, further on... I guess rocks can be crag lizards. So let me check my map. Let's see, I do want to head to the right, but it looks like there's a path over to the left first. Oh, no, 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 okay. You know what? Screw that, because I am almost out of health and I don't want to be wasting using my items. More crag lizards, I'm guessing. I hope Alec has a heal point or something in his house. See, I remember this music. Yeah, here we go. Back at Alec's house, where we were at the prologue of the game. Wherever and whenever cows go moo. Okay. Now we see food is a commendable thing, but that does make things a little harder for me. Okay, I'm actually skipping over something I did because I want to show something off. I want to see the ocean. <laughs> this guy? Right. I want to see a pig seeing the ocean. <laughs> uh, I like that. Alright. Oh, I can't check the trash can? Just hoping he had some food in there. And some chickens. Why, why are you chasing me? Hey, hey. Alright, please don't chase after me. Please don't chase after birds. <laughs> Alright, I don't think there's much else to do around here, so let's go see Alec. Oh, you made it! I don't even know, remember what voice I gave before. Traveling through the forest has become quite dangerous indeed. What were those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with two with bug wings? It seems one bit. You'd be right in the head, too. I've healed up perfectly, though. No, 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 none of that matters. I know where Klaus might have gone. According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Let's head there right now. Oh, alright, so, uh... Alright, so Alec is only a temporary party member, so he's not like, uh... Let's see. So yeah, he's not gonna be like a duster or a bony, so you can't actually control him. And there's no, uh... 
healing. All right. Flint. When I said froggy intelligence just now, you thought, what? Didn't you? Frogs work for my friend as messengers. My friend is able to talk with frogs, lizards, and what have you. See that lizard there, for instance? We just need to go in the direction it tells us. Oh, hello, Mr. Lizard. Flint. You have doubts about this friend of mine, don't you? My friend, no friends are known as my gypsies. They've lived isolated away from civilization for a very, very long time. Hmm, Magipsies, huh? I've heard it pronounced Magipsies, but I like it. Magipsy, I don't know. I'm a lizard. I'll show you which direction you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you will know. Downward. Thank you, Arrow Lizard. Alright. So I might need to uh, heal first. Wait a minute. There's something I can. I just remember there is something I can do here. Is it with you? No, there should be. There's that save frog. This map. Was it with you? Let me check. Should be able to get milk from a cow around here, but uh, there aren't any cows over here, are there? Now, this is where the Dragos were, but something happened. Oh well. So, yeah, you can get uh, milk from the cows, but uh, it's uh, it's weird. It's kind of like the Legend of Zelda, where it can actually spoil. Actually, I should probably save real quick. Hold on. And moving on. So there's. Lizard told us to go downwards. And that lizard's telling us to go left, so yeah, we just follow the lizards. So this is where I was kind of be heading anyway. Oh, never mind. So downward here. Fleet. So you're not walking as fast now. Seems the word Magipsies has made you curious. Or Magips I'm gonna I'm just gonna call them Magipsies, because that's why I keep it kept hearing. The Magipsies have mysterious powers. They're protecting something here for a very long time. They're neither human nor beast, neither man nor woman. I have absolutely no idea how old they are. That explanation didn't explain much, did it? Basically, they're strange. All of them. Every one of them. That's just how they are. They are good-natured, though. They are indeed interesting. Actually, can I talk to the arrow lizard? I am a lizard. I will show you which direction you need to go. Around. Okay. Yeah, and it just shows us the direction it was already pointing. Oh, I need to heal. I'm full of stuff anyway, so it was something that needed to happen. And an upgrade. Actually, now that I have uh, Alec, I want to go back to the uh, marketplace. So, uh,. Let's see where these lizards head, and once it goes off the path, then I'll uh, go back there, and we'll see. That's no way. There we go. Get away from me! Okay, fine. Well, it seems like you can always get nut bread from those things. Alright, and you're stopping. Downward, alright. So back the way we came. Luckily, these lizards all got in position for us. And da 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 da. Hmm. Oh, that way. So, um, I'm not going to head that way just yet. I'm going to go way back into town and going to see if I can get that better stick. Basically, what you want to do is uh, save, go into the marketplace, and if it doesn't have what you want, restore and try again until you get it. Now, you don't have to get this weapon. It's not. It is the best weapon for this chapter, however, we will be getting another weapon along the way in a box that's better than the one I have now. But I do want to get the uh, weapon down there because this is kind of a hard uh, end of chapter we're facing here. So I'll be right back. Alright, finally, that uh, took a bit of doing, but I got it. It's a better stick. 
make a good weapon. Yes, I want it. And is this another flea charm, which I don't need because I already have one. And this antidote. Don't need it. Alright, so... Oh, I always do that. Nope. There we go. So let's see how better it is. Lighter's lumber, better stick, yeah. Offense 64, and speed is even up too because the lumber isn't as, uh, is a bit more heavy. So there we go. Better stick. And we can just throw lighter, lighter's lumber away. Yeah, don't worry about throwing away extra equipment because I'll just tell you, we won't be getting any uh, extra team members for Flint. So yeah. And we can't equip anything on Alec, and yeah. Oh well. And since I have that extra space, I'll uh, get a an extra thunder bomb from behind Wes's house, and I'll meet you back where we were. All right, on the way there, I ran into another beanling on purpose, so I can get another level up. All right. Ooh, level 17. All right. And while we're here, there's something I want to show off now that I can. Notice that snake is running away from me? Yeah, you dash into it. You can now stun it. Yeah, so we're powerful enough for that. And if I got even more powerful, I could just outright kill it with a sprint attack. And I actually believe we're right where I need to be, pretty much. So, yeah. I don't want to run into any more of those. Yeah, turns out those guys can call for backup. So you can be in the fight for a while before you finally, finally kill all of them. Oh, hello, froggies. Wrong. I am the wrong frog. Right. Right, right. Wrong. The right frog. Yeah, before we can get this way, because there's a river blocking the way, but we have little froggy pals that'll help us out from every direction. And they can carry both our weight at the same time. It probably would have been more considerate to go one at a time, but whatever. There's spare advice, you know how enemies sometimes leave nice items behind after you fight them? If your inventory is full, da da da. I guess we already know that. What does this frog have to say? Right. Rabbit, rabbit. <laughs> Alright. This is a save frog, so I'm going to save real quick. Oh, that's probably the cow I was thinking of. Let's see. Hello, Mr. Cow. In the mood for a milking? Yes. So, you can get some fresh milk, but like I said, if you carry it around for too long... Wow, you're good at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, if you carry it around for too long, it spoils. So let's just uh, have some now. Yeah, 80 HP, but um, you know what? might as well grab another for the road. Just in case I need it soon, hopefully I'll... If I do need it, it's before it spoils. So let's see. Go up here. We should find... Okay, I guess not up there. Go the other way around. Well, I think I know it. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Do you have anything good to say? Magips the Magipsies are having their monthly tea party today. Can't you hear those indescribably deep yet shrill voices coming from Aeolia's house? Chirp chirp. Deep yet shrill? How does that work? Oh, and there's a hot spring here. Which I don't need because I already maxed out my HP with the cow milk. As you can see, uh... Of course, their clothes come off and off their hats, but yeah, so you can... Yeah, anyway. Hmm. I guess we walk across these to this seashell house. And here we have the Magipsies. And I'm going to pronounce that it's different every single time, I promise you. So sleepy. Oh, humans. Visitors, magnificent. You simply must have some of this cake. It's scrumptious. Is that Alec? Oh, it is. It is good to see you, Snookums. My, my, who are these two? Don't be rude, Ione. Introduce us. 
course, where are my manners? This is my good friend Alec. And who's this with you? Didn't you say? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Now let's all get properly introduced to. Now let's get you all properly introduced to us, the Magipsies. You're in luck. We're having a party today. Nearly all of us are here. First we have Aeolia, Miss Doria, Phrygia, Lydia. That one over there is Mixolydia. The only one not here is Locretia. Or is Locria. You can call me Ionia. Hmm? You can't remember all that? Of course not. That's why I introduced you, Dolly, darling. Isn't that how it works? Right, Alekipu? It's been a while. I'm glad to see you well. I hear you helped my grandson, Klaus. Do you know where he might have went? Oh, you mean that rambunctious little squirt from a while ago? And I suppose this flint fellow is his father. Hmm. Yes, I can see the resemblance now. You have the same eyes. So what about Klaus? Oh, so what about Klaus? Where is he? Oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry, mentioning something about avenging his mother. I was feeling generous at the time, so I sent him on his way with a super powerful PSI technique. I doubt he'll be able to use it very easily, though. So he left, then? And you didn't stop him? What if something happens to him? Oh, get over yourselves. I couldn't care less about you humans, here one minute and gone the next. You poor things better live a hundred years of that. It's a blink of an eye to us magipsies. Why would anyone bother to care about such short lives? Now, now! Mixolydia, Phrygia! Humans worry about such short lives. Isn't that right, Alekipu? I understand how you feel, I really do. I don't care if you understand or not. Just tell us where Klaus went. The boy headed for the Drago Plateau. Quite rambunctious, I might add. Barely seemed concerned about his own short little life. If you go now, you might catch him in time. Drago Plateau, you say? Flint, let's hurry there. <laughs> and yeah, these, as I said, are the Magic Seas, and one of the reasons I believe this game has not been officially localized yet. So, yeah, you can see they're kind of designed, um... Now there's a word for a man who dresses very effeminately, but at the same time keeps masculine qualities such as a beard or something. I'm forgetting what that term is, but they're designed after that. <laughs> Um, the one thing I have to say about these fellas is they are not human, they are not man, like Alex said, they are not man, they are not woman, they are magipsies. The uh, pronoun they, pr they prefer is her, but being the different beings they are, they can pretty much do and be whatever they want because that is just who they are. So you can't really judge them on human standards or anything like that, so don't even try. No matter what your beliefs are, these are magipsies. You're not gonna talk? Don't concern yourself, little me. Go quickly. You could do it, humans. I'm not gonna give each of them a different voice. They're all the same voice. I pray for your success. The boy headed for the Drago Plateau, quite rambunctious, I might add. I barely seem concerned about his short, little, own short little life. If you go now, you might just might catch him in time. There you go, honey. I hope you find the boys soon. Alright, so... Those were them. Flint. The quickest way to the Drago Plateau was through the cave behind this house. Klaus probably went through the cave too. There's nothing to worry about, Flint. But you're not going to get very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is smile. Understand? No, but my wife just died. 
Come on now, that's no good. Smile and relax. Yeah, I do kind of like Alec because his daughter died the day before very violently, but he is still doing his absolute best to keep a positive look, even though, you know, his daughter died and his grandson is missing. So what we do now is there's a cave here that we can go in. Flint. It's pitch dark in here, but never fear. I've been through here many a time, just leave it to me. But more importantly, that super serious look on your face will only bring us trouble. You gotta relax, understand? Alright, alright. Keep going west at this fork in the road. Nah, I don't trust you, I'm gonna go north. And those were just Mr. Baddies, nothing to worry about. Peculiar cheese. Uh, let's see, what items do I have? Because peculiar cheese is good for flint. So let's just get rid of- oh, see? Milk's already rotten. I don't know why this menu music always uh, glitches out a little bit. But yeah, that milk does not last very long. So let's just take the peculiar cheese. We go north here. Nah. Uh-oh. Another crag lizard. Luckily I'm pretty well leveled, so I'm not too worried. Stop for a second. There should be a hole around here. Find it and then jump right down it. I mean that hole? Nah. There's more to explore around here. Anything else over here? Oh jeez, really? It didn't even get out and attack. This is the long way around. If it were up to me, we'd jump down that hole, but whatever works. Hmm. Oh, I see, and there's a rope here. But you know what? I will uh, go jump down that hole. Yeah, I can just knock those guys out of the way. If you want to go back, head south. Flint, follow the southeast passage. And what do we have here? Beef jerky, so I will get rid of some nut bread to make room because nut bread only does 30, beef jerky does 60, yeah. So there we go. How to prioritize. Oh, Flinty Poo, that was a magic that was my Magipsy impression. Did you like it? Relax, relax. Trying to keep a sense of humor. Alright, alright. I'll tell you this one early in advance. Head south at the next fork in the path. Because if you head this way, I believe that's where the rope is. Head west from here. I'll head east and get this. There's a running bomb, which I don't want. Wait. Is that you? <laughs> Just kidding, it was me. <laughs> Dang it, Alec. Hold on a sec. I've been so forgetful lately. Which way was it again? Was it north? I'm pretty sure the, there's a vine to the north. We need to find it and climb up. <laughs> Dang it, Alec. Alright. Flint. You're allowed to laugh at that pun just now. Did you notice it? When we said uh, when I said we have to find vine to the vine, you know, instead of find. Was that not funny? I thought it was funny, Alec. It did end. Sorry, Flint. Looks like we should have gone west at that last fork in the path. Yeah, I actually saw the vine there, but I wanted to see what was up here. North here. Head north. Nah, I want to head this way. But there's nothing here. Just that crack lizard. Let's see. Flinty pie. Don't be so embarrassed. <laughs> no, the crack lizard and nothing here. Alright. We're as good as there. Now, we've, now that we've made it this far, now we just need to head upward and climb up some vines. Divines go up because they're divine. No, come on, it's just a pun. <laughs> I was hoping I was going to get a level up before the end of this, but I might not. I'm not going to try too hard, but, uh. Are you kidding me? 
Okay, never mind. I was going to see if I could knock him out and then get the back attack, but uh, wasn't doing it, so I figured I'll just wait until it's easier. Because it will be easier, like I keep saying. Next chapter. Oh, and here we are. Darn, oh, still not another level. Wait, what's... Oh, snap! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to show that off. Still not enough, though. Okay, there's nothing up there. I think you can get up to 12 of those hits, but because I defeated it in 10, I couldn't get the full 12. Hmm? I get the feeling something weird is going on here. But what could it be? Well, you're just gonna have to find out next time on Let's Play Mother 3. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.